Oh, does little baby want to learn a little bit about optical physics? Yeah? Okay. Let's get you ahead of the curve. So, let's review, or let's look through. This is a clear ball. Let's see, this is a ball, and it's clear. You can see through it. Color can pass through it. So we see this green light, and the green light is going through the clear ball. We see this red light, and the red light is going through the ball. We see this blue light, and the blue light is going through the ball. So, light passes through the clear ball. So, all colors combine to make white light. So all colors, when melted together through this clear ball, create white light. Are you familiar with either, um, I think it was Isaac Newton, but more importantly, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon? We learned that from the concept album. And white light contains all the colors. So if you get a white light, every little color that you can think of is inside of the white light. It's just, it's like a spectrum. Light travels in a straight line. So at the speed of light, it's always going in a straight line forward. It's not going to curve around going to go straight forward. So if you were to shine a flashlight, like a super powerful flashlight in space, that light is going to go straight forward until it hits something like a wall or like a curtain. It's going to have something that basically is going to block the straight line. But until it gets something to block it, it'll just keep going. Then light can be reflected, kind of like on a mirror. You can ping pong, ping pong, or refracted. Oh wait, I think refracted is when it's when it's through a mirror, or is it through a prism? Or it's like ping, 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 ping. Now, these are questions that are above. Right now we learn, we don't question, we accept. When white light is refracted, it turns into separate colors. Oh, okay, so it's through a prism. Okay, so we have this white light. It goes through a prism and then gets refracted into other colors. This is called dispersion because you're disperting all of the little notes inside of the white light. You're allowing them to sort of like explode. If white light hits a raindrop, oh, so pretty, out comes a rainbow. That's why you see those oil puddles or outside on the street or like, you know, random little like rainbow features, especially when you have like sprinklers like sort of casting that sort of rainbow hue when they go back and forth. It's dispersion. I don't mean to cast any aspersions, but it's dispersion. On a sunny, rainy day, you might see a rainbow in the sky like this. A rainbow. God's promise not to flood the earth again. <laughs> it's a really good promise. Rainbow colors always appear in the order of least refracted to most refracted light. So, least refracted to most... Wait a minute. If God promised never to flood the earth again with a rainbow, and God is like that cosmic universe, sort of like intense, like, oh, then there was light, Big Bang Theory. What relationship... That means the world existed. 
without rainbows before the flood. There's got to be a deeper relationship there. Why the rainbow? What? Would there be floods without a rainbow? Like global floods without a rainbow? Anyways, this is not theology class. This is optical physics class. Rainbow colors always appear in the order of least refracted to most refracted light. So the least refracted light is the red. Then we have orange. That they're like sisters, cousins, I would rather cousins. Yellow, which is like the neighbor. Green, which is like they live in another town. Blue, which is like they're like in their own vibe. They're in their own dwelling. They're in their own like wavelength. And then violet, which is like I would see Violet as Blue's sister. They have that sort of relationship. So red is the least refracted, and then purple is the most refracted. Raiji Biff. Raiji Biff. Sometimes light is reflected two times inside a raindrop. Pew, 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 pew. It's like the, it's like the, um, what's that one? Anna Barbara logo where it's like shung, 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 shung. and it's like it shows it before the main event it was during the 70s it's cool I like it because it's just like chung, 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 chung. it's like showing you it's showing you what's happening it's like wow this makes a second rainbow so we have two rainbows have you ever seen a double rainbow I've seen a double rainbow before I was like wow those are two so one rainbow, two rainbow. That's really cool. Righty good. How many colors are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because they are made of a whole spectrum of colors. Colors. <gasps> Look at how many. <sighs> it's so cute, isn't it? I love colors. Now you know optical physics. So what did we learn today? There's something going on with the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Fear the rainbow. Now, I want you to take this little book and I want you to do some good study. I want you to review the book and I want you to Really capture the information within it. So, let us review. This is a ball. This ball is red. When did this lesson happen? Did I just skip over a chunk? I skipped over two pages. Fascinating. It reflects red light, so the red ball reflects red light. But it absorbs blue and green light. It absorbs blue and green light. So it reflects red light back out, but it absorbs blue and green light. It doesn't allow it to go back out again. It does not reflect blue and green light. Now we get back to the lesson at hand that we reviewed. This is a clear ball. Color passes through it, so blue, green. All of it is passing through it. All colors combine to make white light. So unlike the red ball, the white light is capturing all of the colors in the rainbow. And white light contains all the colors coming out. Light travels in a straight line until it hits something. Then Light can either be reflected or refracted. When white light is refracted, it turns into separate colors. So refracted goes through like a prism. Think dark red of the moon. And then it goes into all of these different colors like that. And this is called dispersion when it goes into all those different little colors. If white light hits a raindrop, out comes a rainbow. 
on a sunny rainy day you might see a rainbow in the sky like this sunny rainy day there's raindrops and light that makes rainbows it's like a bow to remind you here's my gift do not there's something there i'm gonna miss angelica is gonna spend about two hours figuring out the relationship the deep relationship this deep symbolic meaning of the rainbow rainbow colors always appear in the order of least refracted to most refracted light least to the red most to the violet sometimes light is reflected two times inside a raindrops this makes a second rainbow and once again you know optical physics the whole color spectrum so take this book recap it review it and then i'll be quizzing you on it tomorrow okay i know you're just an infant but we really do need to get ahead of the curb knowledge is power okay okay now let's go get you some mashed peas